What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to put a video inside an image or a shape. Now this is entirely using Premiere Pro, so there's no external sites you'll need to use or external softwares. The shapes you can make are in Premiere Pro, but you are limited. So if you don't have Photoshop, then I recommend using free online programs such as Pixlr or Canva, where you can make your own shapes. Links to them will be in the description. Now in the video, I'll be showing you both ways, how to do the effect using an image and how to do the effect using a shape made in Premiere Pro. Now the effect itself, it's very, very simple to use. It's very simple to create. However, you can be very creative and make a nice transition. Now in the video, I'll be showing you a simple transition you can make yourself using this effect. And of course, you can be a lot more creative when it comes to your actual video. So here we are in Premiere Pro and in my project here, I have a video of Dubai and I also have a PNG image, the silhouette of Dubai skyline. Now there's two ways I'm going to be showing you how to do this effect. One is simply using an image like I'm going to be showing you now. And the second way I'll be showing you is how to actually use your own shapes created in Premiere Pro and obviously put them inside the video. So here is the silhouette and here's the video. First thing I'm going to do is just right click the image here and set to the frame size. And then I'm going to bring it down to the bottom. Now it's really simple to do. The first thing that you want to do is head over to your effects tab. And from here, you just want to search for track matte key and it will be under video effects under keying and track matte key. Now you want to drag and drop this on your video directly. Scroll down and as you can see in your effects controls on the video, once it's selected, you will see track matte key. Now, where it says matte, you want to select none, and then you're going to choose video three, video two, wherever your image is. So my image is on video two. So I'm going to select video two and boom, just like that. As you can see, I'll just turn the preview quality down. It's now going to be playing in, of course, the video. Now you can do some cool transitions with this as well. So I'll just show you very quickly. So I'm just going to drag the skyline up and of course now it's going to be back to normal. That's what I want it to be. I'm going to duplicate the video here like this and then I'm going to drag this to the beginning and I'm just going to right click and apply default transitions. This is going to add a simple fade. I'm going to extend the fade here and notice the effect has now gone off. So head back over to video track one, which was the initial video. Of course, we need to change the mat now to video track three because we moved the skyline up. So video track three, that's done. Now you'll see what I've done very simply, very quickly is made a nice smooth transition like that. As you can see, the silhouette will fade away. So how do you create your own shapes and do the exact same thing? Well, let's get to that. It's very simple as well. Firstly, you can come over to the pen tool here, just right click, drag out. And as you can see, you get access to a pen tool, the rectangle tool and the ellipse tool. Now, of course, we are very limited with what shapes we can make in Premiere Pro. However, if you find an image on Google, like I did with the silhouette, or if you just make your own shape in Photoshop, it's completely fine. So I'm just going to use a rectangle tool because it's simple. So what I'm going to do is draw out a couple of rectangles. Now don't worry about the shape. Don't worry about the color. It can be literally anything you want it to be. Now important to know if you want to keep the shapes proportion when you're dragging it out, hold shift on your keyboard. And as you can see, it will stay perfectly normal. If you then want to move them, simply come over to the move tool. And of course you can simply just drag it across. So just to show you the example, I'm also going to be adding some ellipse in this as well. So again, if you want to have it uh, properly stayed in a circle, hold shift on your keyboard. And of course you make it as big as you want to. And now I'm purposely leaving some space to show you. Then you can also use the pen tool. And this is where you can be create uh, completely custom in terms of what shape you make. So as you can see, just like this, just click around, make a triangle, and then we'll do. So we've added a bunch of shapes. Yes, it is completely random. It's just for the purpose of the tutorial. Of course, you'll take more time. And now we do the exact same steps. So we have our graphic on video track two. And all we're going to do is again, head over to the effects tab, head over to track map key. We're going to drag and drop this onto our video. We're going to select our video, come over to the effect controls 
and from here we're going to change the mat so we've already got the one here from earlier but we're going to come to the mat and this time we're going to change it to video 2 and as you can see just like that this video is now only going to be playing inside the shapes we created really simple really quick really cool effect and you can make some really cool transitions using this as well so definitely give it a go be creative try out some transitions they're really simple to create they're really quick to make as well and of course it's just different it makes a bit more creativity that's it for this tutorial hopefully it's been useful for you as always if you want to request a specific tutorial whether in premiere pro or any other program be sure to let me know in the comments below or just ask me on my social media.